welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. This is Stranger Palooza. We're at the 2023 Florida RV Super Show in Tampa. And we're here in the Airstream booth. We've got Justin. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. Uh, great video we did last year going through the entire line yep. that Airstream has when it comes to Class Bs. That's right. Uh, really appreciated that. So I think since then, you guys introduced the Ridge Line yes. at uh, Hershey. We did. Yeah. So today we're going to go through the Ridge Line. It's a Pro Master. This is the first time I think you guys are doing something. Is it the first time? Uh, with Pro Master, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna get all into this and get you guys details. We've got pop top, no pop top. Let's get into it right now. Hey everyone, a new Vanasaur t-shirt design is out, just in time for the winter season. It's called Winter Camping Fun. Even here in the Sunshine State, it feels a lot like winter. If you're a fan of outdoor life, then this is a great way to give someone you care about a gift or get something for yourself and support this channel at the same time. All you have to do is follow the link here on YouTube, just below the video description to the Stranger Palooza store, where you will find this Winter Camping Fun design and other fun, cool Stranger Palooza gear. All right, Justin, so tell us what was the thought at Airstream behind going to a ProMaster yeah. chassis? Well, it was tough to ignore anymore. It's now the number one selling B-Van chassis on the market, mm -hmm. so that caught our attention. Yeah. It offers a different price point, which is nice. Yeah. You know, the interstate is always full tilt, very expensive. Right. So it, it, it is nice to get something down the line a little bit. Yeah. A lot of people forget that four industries bought Heimer over mm -hmm. in Germany. Mm -hmm. And this is their number one platform in Germany. Right. So we've got a lot of tribal knowledge within our subsidiaries and oh, sister so companies. Oh, you so can, you can get some, yeah. get some ideas from those guys. Absolutely. Yeah. So that, that helped us and made mm -hmm. us a little more confident in the product. But, uh, you know, the other thing too, we love Mercedes-Benz, mm -hmm. uh, but we had a lot of supply challenges as everybody did. Right. And uh, so it's nice to have, to expand that lineup, yeah. not only for us, but we have exclusive Airstream dealers who don't carry anything else. Right. So it gives them something else uh, to look at. Yeah. And then lastly, you know, from an upfitter standpoint, this is front wheel drive. It's a little bit wider. Mm -hmm. So we can do some things on this platform that we can't do with Mercedes-Benz right. with some different layouts and different packages yeah. that, uh, that also intrigued us. And, yeah. um, and then uh, I guess this is the last thing. We built a new travel trailer plant. I think we might've talked about it a little bit last year. Okay. It's uh, over 700,000 square feet. Wow. And we moved into it January, 2020. Mm -hmm. Well, when we vacated that, our B vans moved into the old travel trailer plant. Okay. So we have a, a quarter of a million square feet of manufacturing space in Ohio, wow. which also offers the ability to start building some new products. Yeah. Maybe we couldn't have considered before the, uh -huh. the new plant construction. So, uh -huh. Uh, yeah, so maybe really a transit in the future, yeah, Justin? You know, uh, or whatever know. else is out there, right? Maybe uh, somebody else enters the market. Yeah, yeah we, you know, it just gives us that ability to, mm -hmm. to take a look, and, and um, hey, we're really excited about it. It's okay, fun. very cool. And the ProMaster is a, you know, they're, they're always improving the chassis. Right. So I think what I've seen on the inside of this, this is the new chassis inside right just not on the outside here not the front fascia that's correct the, okay. the, on the 2022s they changed the whole dash so yeah. that'll come with a bigger screen different yeah. uh, steering wheel and some other yeah. digital the nice aspects. italian design on yeah. the inside yeah. and then the second piece is this lower this is kind of this uh um, the, the lower lip as i call it is yeah. is a little bit more proud but then on the yeah. new one it seems to kind of be a little bit more level and then they have a better or, or more i think it's better headlight yeah. It really cleans up the front end. Yeah, I like what you guys did here. That's, that's something yeah, you don't see Yeah, well, you know, kind of high, when they, when they make it great, we feel like kind of highlights maybe the not so pretty <laughs> part of the van. No right. offense, Graham uh, partners, but yeah. we like to blend that in. What I found interesting is on the 23s, they have a blackout edition where they'll do this for you. Oh, nice. Which is great, because yeah. they don't have to paint it. That's what I think everyone wants. So, uh, so far as the front end, before we go in, you guys are going to start getting those in if folks want the all new front That's right. End, right. Yeah, in fact, okay. we're taking orders for them now. In fact, if you're to place an order for one of these, it would be in that oh. chassis because our backlog's yeah. out. And uh, those will start going in production sometime in March. Great. And uh, obviously, there's going to be like a price increase, I think. There. That's right. We've, and we've allowed there. for that at the, at the show, and the, all the dealers across the country know that difference mm -hmm. in, in price. And uh, we will get that blackout edition on those. Oh, and thanks. then also, the wheels are going to have a blackout oh, on wheels. Okay. Okay. On that. 
We, yeah. we call it, so one of the things we do on the interstate is whatever color we get from Mercedes-Benz, mm -hmm. if it's silver, if it's white, we paint everything to match it. Okay. And it's very expensive. It takes, yeah. it's really time consuming. Yeah. So what we did on, uh, on this product is we said, you know, we're really gonna just own that. We want to make it a, a, a design element in the coach. Oh, okay. Because that relieves a lot of the, the price that we're, or, or the cost that we're spending yeah. and the price to the Makes customer. Makes it more affordable. That's right. Yeah. So we, we really tried to add uh, elements that would balance that out. You know, we put the awning and the pop top where we have one black. Yeah. Uh, we put the running boards black. Yeah, I like how you guys did that. Uh, like a nice touch. And it kind of blends in. Like it's even the wind deflector. Up here, yes. which I guess that's what you get on the pop top, right? It, it is, yes. Okay. And um, you know that's obviously black as well. So we really wanted to balance that out. Yeah. Um, it blends in a little bit more with the granite because mm -hmm. it's a darker painted uh, yeah. color. But but we we feel like um, being intentional on owning that as right. opposed to removing all those parts and pieces and painting them and mm -hmm. adds tremendous price to the product. I, yeah. But we weren't going to do that with the Range Rover. So what is the price range of this for folks out there? I know it's going to be different, obviously, yeah. depending on what dealer people go to, et cetera. What, what are we looking at yeah, roughly? Yeah, so it's just under $150,000. Okay. And there's mm -hmm. really just, so you have two exterior colors, the silver or the granite. You have two interior colors, which is like a gray or a blue. Mm -hmm. um, the only options that popped up right now. Okay, that's now, the only option. Okay. And a uh, sneak peek in the future in the 20, on the next version, on the mm -hmm. 23s, we'll also have a carpet kit that you could actually put on the floor. Oh. So that'll be our first option outside okay. of a pop top. Yeah. But uh, we like to keep it simple. It's easier for the dealers. Yeah. It's easier for us to build. Again, just trying to, well, number one, we don't like a lot of options anyway, mm -hmm. but then also streams on the production process. Yeah. Well, let's, let's jump in here while there's no one in there. Um, I really like what you guys did inside here so I think people will be very excited to see it yeah. where do you want to start yeah let's walk do you want to start like walk around the outside maybe yeah, if, if, if okay that, I like that might be a good spot. yeah I like the uh, the running board here so um, yes yeah, so we, we obviously did something off the shelf you know we have a tendency to want to design these things ourselves <laughs> which again increases the yeah. price point quite a bit so we did find something off the shelf we could use mm -hmm. but one of our engineers came up with this idea of putting a dog leash tie down oh okay on there cool. and shaped it as a as a ball but you know we we do surveys and a lot of our customers have pets so being able to put that there was uh, yeah. i thought a nice touch yeah um obviously a screen door which is really nice right the bugs out with the breeze in and then this was a um I think your audience will appreciate this. I know you certainly will, but you could look at the, the mounting bracket for this Thule awning. Notice uh -huh. how it's one piece. Yeah, it's very streamlined. This is one of those things that we were able to take from Heimer because we wanted to use the Thule awning, but it's a three bracket system. So if yeah. you imagine the awning out, there's yeah. tons of space to yeah. come through on the other on the, yeah. on the wall of it. Yeah. And they said, no, we helped design this whole bracket. Okay. You guys should ask about that. So that was yeah. an example of, by using their expertise, we were yeah. able to have a better product. So it's a yeah, one, I like this because, so with these awnings, which you have to be careful of, if you park next to trees and stuff, if they have a place to get under, they will get under and rip things up. So yeah, I like this. Yeah. I like what's going and on it here. it cleans it up. Um, yeah. I think it blacks it out, makes it look yeah. a little more meatier. Like it's supposed to be there. <laughs> Where the others are so much more proud and they yeah. got these brackets kind of yeah. hanging off. That's so. why a lot of people remove them. Yeah. Yeah. And That's it's very cool. Yeah, so it's something that we did. Now we only are removing um, really this window on this side from RAM and then on the other side of the bed, but this is an opening uh, oh, okay. window here. Yeah, so let's go around this Added way. Added a power outlet. Oh, this, okay, here you go. Here's your power. Right there. So in the back, you know, our our uh, designers really like to just kind of make all of this go away. Mm -hmm. So if you'll notice on this side of the cabinet, it's black. On the other side, it's our wood laminate. But okay. it's very intentional that when you um, put down this screen, it just blends in yeah. and it's all black. Yeah, I like that look. I also like that you guys put these metal molly panels on the yes. inside. Yeah, it was yeah. a nice touch too. Again, yeah. when you get these vans from from Ram, you don't, they don't know what it's going to be. They don't know it's going to be an RV or a right. plumber truck. So a lot of these elements have to be covered anyway. Mm -hmm. And a lot of RV manufacturers just kind of cover wood with carpet and throw it back <laughs> yeah. there. But we want to be useful. more intentional. Yeah. Yeah. And notice here's a bottle opener. Oh. Uh -huh. So. Okay. Cool. Yeah. And you could just strap all kinds of stuff onto this. Yeah. Lots. You know, very useful. Lots of yeah. different ways. Is that to steel or aluminum? That's. <laughs> oh, that's steel. It's magnetic. That's steel. Okay, cool. Yes. 
Okay. And then, uh, so on this side, the electrical side, you would ask where our Battleborn uh, Game Changer battery is. It's on this side. Okay. 270 amp hour battery. Okay. Uh, so this does have one uh, GC3 from Battleborn, but you can upgrade that, right? Uh, not at the moment, no. Okay. Well, we were talking about some thoughts on that, uh, mm -hmm. but you know, certainly a way we can develop the product is looking oh, okay. a bit more. I think the big thing, and we were talking about it before we, we hopped on, is mm -hmm. The fact that we really wanted this to be a single fuel source, mm -hmm. so we do the bigger house batteries and what you mm -hmm. would typically have with AGM, mm -hmm. and then we have a gas generator, mm -hmm. um, and we put the gas uh, Timberline system, which does your furnace and your mm -hmm. hot water heater. So there is no LP on, anywhere on those. Okay, so no LP. There is a generator though. There is. Where's a generator? the generator underneath? The generator's right underneath here. Oh, okay. Um, and it's this new inverter 2.8 um, generator with. With the inverter startup, so it's a lot quieter. This, oh, thing, okay. is, this thing is really, really quiet. Really quiet. And okay. One really other cool. thing too is a little different. Mm -hmm. Is uh, we're doing a different insulation. It's called mm -hmm. lizard skin. So it's okay. a spray on. It all, if you looked at like uh, bed yeah. liners, I've heard of it. It's yeah. a little bit like that. Yeah. But it has two qualities. Number one, not only thermal qualities, but also sound, sound ending. Yeah. So I'm mm -hmm. telling you, the thing is super quiet when you drive it. Oh, cool. Yeah, I, I never thought of doing that with those generators. You know, if you yeah. think about compared a sink, to the other generators, they are quiet. Yeah. And yeah. you know, if you think about a sink, you know, yeah. it's really tinny. That's yeah. why they kind of coat it. Yeah. In your house. Yeah. So I'm telling you, when you coat this entire thing, because it's all four sides spray. Uh -huh. Oh, so you're, you're doing, doing that all through the entire oh, thing. Oh, yeah. okay. Can we let me take a look at let's see, take a look at that jet. Is it an Onan? It is. Oh, okay. So there it goes. There goes the generator. Yeah, so on the tires, we also come standard with Sumo Springs, which gives you uh, some added lift because the generator's underneath. So because it's a front wheel drive, the whole van is lower than what a Sprinter or a yeah. Transit would be. Yeah. So that helps us lift it up. Yeah. And that front wheel drive gives you like the engine weight going down over the wheels where the power is going. Yeah. It's, a, it's not as good as all wheel drive, but you know, gets you out of situations. Definitely better than rear. Yeah, you know, in yeah those, exactly. In those cases, of course, in an RV. skipping back here, yeah. <laughs> I think a lot of people tend to think rear wheel drive is bad because of a pickup truck, which is typically right. light on the back. But yeah. in an RV on a rear wheel drive. Weight all not. over. <laughs> yeah. So we also yeah. hide the, uh, the awning um, crank here. Oh, okay. So it is a manual awning. One thing it we is. wanted to okay. do here is we wanted to simplify this. With the interstate, we have a lot of interaction between our house mm -hmm. and the chassis. We're oh, trying okay. to eliminate as oh, much as possible. Okay. So like power steps, power yep. awnings, all those things have to be tied right. to the chassis. It's a power, right. So um, yes, it's not power. And I know a lot of people like to hit that button, mm -hmm. but on a manual, you have a lot more control over the pitch of the awning. You can actually tie it down to the ground. You can tie oh, okay. it into the chassis. Right. So although, yeah, it's not as convenient as hitting a button, I would say you have a lot more flexibility on mm -hmm. your coverage of the awning. Right. Plus you don't have the tie in yeah. to the chassis. Plus you get a workout. That's right. Yeah, yeah exactly. Some of us need, some of us there. need an extra reason. Yeah. So you do have a tow hitch. Um, yep, it comes standard with the uh, with the hitch. What are these? Uh, what are these things Those right are skid here? Skid plates, skid bars. Oh. Just to make sure, uh, okay. You're not hitting any. Uh, oh, cool. Underneath equipment. Yeah. So if you like bottom out over here, that helps keep it from damaging like your generator and exactly. everything that's under there. Oh, very helps cool. Helps protect all the undercarriage. So is this is this putting in the water here? Yeah. Or? So this is a little different than Anderson. Okay. State. Our mm -hmm. water fill is here for uh, for your tank, and then the tank is above floor. So okay. you know whatever you've heated, your interior of your coach. That's the temperature of that water. It's the temperature okay. of that water. Now on the interstate, we have the, the blankets on them that'll help keep those okay. warm and keep them from, from doing anything. Oh, okay. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Yeah, you guys really thought about this. Yeah, we spent some time. I think we, our engineering group did a great job, yeah. our designers, and they really wanted to kind of think about this whole segment differently. You'll notice two chrome pipes. One is for that generator, oh, and the, okay. the other is for the Timberline system since okay. it's being pulled off. Yeah, the check it out. That's that's cool, right there. But you know, a lot so of pipes manufacturers <laughs> do a rusty looking yeah. pipe. And yeah, <laughs> we don't want to put it. Uh, I know. In. So here's your power right here, smart plug. Got the smart plug. Right. Um, now on the interstate, you have the uh, macerator. Mm -hmm. um, pump. This is going to be a little bit more of your standard uh, okay. manual system. So this is one with two different gates. Yeah, I'm one taking gray, for black and white. Okay. So on. So some Dodge, some Ram products will have a cassette toilet. We're not doing that. This okay. is all um, black actually tank. a black tank and a and a toilet exactly. in there. Okay. I thought this was pretty cool. Yeah. I just noticed there's a. So this opens oh, up. Go. 
and then you have access to your utilities underneath. Oh, okay. And so this is your flush. Yep, city water uh, flush, city water city fill. Water. Okay. Um, this is for oh, your uh, spray. Yep, for your shower. And okay. then of course there's a light. Oh, nice. At night. Okay. Um, when you want. That. Yeah, that's nice. You guys integrated that into the cladding here. There's also should be a light down here. Oh, like an undercarriage? Maybe that's... When you're dumping? I saw like a purple. I didn't know if that oh. was from the car. Oh, there, oh, you go. there it is. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that comes in handy when you have to uh, dump at night. Yeah. <laughs> it happens. It does happen. Yes. But you know what's also kind of annoying is when you are out driving one of these vehicles and you have to stare at all those systems. Yeah. So what I, I thought that was... Uh, I thought that was a good yeah. way of hiding it, and then the whole side yeah. is very clean. You know, like the um, Sprinter, you know, the fuel fills right next to the driver's door. Mm -hmm. So you know if you're next to the pump, yeah. you're good. And then this is gas, it gas is. powered. This would be gas yeah. powered. And uh, you can just take a little sneak peek in here, Lola. So everything in here is the new chassis stuff, all the new electronics. Yeah, right? on the inside. Okay. This is going to be. Uh, does it have uh, cruise control or something like that? You know, it does. Okay. I will say on the first batch, some they shipped us without adaptive cruise control. Oh, okay. We did order everything with adaptive. Okay. Check with your dealer if you're interested in buying one because of the chip shortages. Yeah, I heard that's a thing. You have to look for those buttons right on the steering wheel. Yeah, you do. You Let have to see. keep an eye on that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I believe this one has it, but we did have. About half of our units came with cruise control, but just didn't have the adaptive. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that's a basic look. I know we've got some folks in there. So what's the difference with this one other than color? So these are your two color options, right? Yeah. This is a, a, a blue color, and then this one is a gray. Oh, okay. On the and interior. So far as the leather. Okay. Yep. Um, we did a couple things. Number one, it's a personal pet peeve of mine mm -hmm. of all these RV handles that are plastic. <laughs> it's like, could we give a little bit more thought into that? So we really tasked with our, our design team and engineering team. And they found this uh, supplier does it for yachts. And you know, uh -huh. the shapes in yachts are always crazy. Yeah. So I love this handle, right? Yeah. It's the first touch point when you go into the unit. Yeah. Uh, it also becomes a towel rack. So it yeah, has you can hang purpose. stuff off of it. Yeah. And because it's so longer and higher for all different shapes and sizes, you're good. You get yeah. you covered. Yeah, so I like I really that. like that. Yeah, I like having some storage here. You could put your slippers and stuff. Yeah, we tried to make this one a little bigger for yeah. um, for shoes, and it actually has something that you can pull out that'll keep it from Clean it. So what's the switch we have in here? Yeah, so we like to reduce the amount of switches. So I hate when you walk in, mm -hmm. I say I, the team is like, ah, we don't like that, that customer experience. Yeah, you're experience. looking around, where am I? So this yeah. is kind of, it's easy to yeah. access, but you can either do the uh, patio light or all lights so oh, okay. it's two switches that's cool and then um, as we get in right here is a screen okay. we've integrated all but one panel into that screen oh, okay. so you know you go into a lot of these b vans and mm -hmm. on the back wall you just see a myriad of, of just switches, switches and, buttons. and <laughs> crap and the other thing that's really nice is mm -hmm. this entire screen you mm -hmm. can download an app mm -hmm. and you can get on your phone and you can um, really easy okay. put this screen on your phone Oh, okay. Is this Firefly or so something? So it's a Firefly similar? system, okay. and it's all local. It's not remote. Okay. Yeah. It's not over the air. But like, mm -hmm. if you're here out in the patio and you're like, let me check my tanks. Yeah. You can pull up your phone. If yeah. you're in bed and you yeah. want to turn down the air conditioner, you can. Yeah, it's very do. convenient. So awesome. it's it's nice to be yeah. able to extend that screen. Yeah. To Let's jump into this one and take Let's a look. We'll go into the other one here in a second. Go in, Lola. I'm right behind you. There's really a lot of stuff when you get into this that you could see Airstream all over it. That's so right. even the the contour right here and I guess the patio, is that what we call yeah, this here? Yeah, so this has That to looks be, great. And with the front wheel drive, you do have to build this up to match this floor because it's yeah. a drop, what they call a drop floor. Yeah. So we thought it was a great opportunity to give it some Airstream DNA. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things we really found nice over in Europe is a multifunctional table. Yeah, So this, that's cool. In this position, it could be mm -hmm. an extension of your galley and then mm -hmm. you can continue it around for this seat. Um, yeah. in the passenger seat. So. so I like you guys having a jump seat here. We don't often see that. Um, looks like it's buckled, right? So yes. you can sit two passengers right here buckled. Yes, you can. Yeah. And it's also child tethers. So if you've got kids nice. in car seats, you yeah. can do that as well. Yeah. A lot of times if you get a ProMaster, I've noticed a lot of people get these 
they're what are these like 20 feet just a little bit under yeah. that and it's you know it's like an SUV size so you it could is. drive it around park it anywhere and use it for a bunch of stuff and especially if you have seats right there yeah. you could pretty much use it every day this is um this is one of the number one sellers over in Germany. So mm -hmm. our German partners that we were talking to. One thing mm -hmm. we we were seeing in the U.S. market is a lot of sofas in the back, which is right. which is nice. They're either side sitting. You can't really talk to the people up front. Yeah, the it's ride really, is not as nice back there either. <laughs> it's not as nice because you're on yeah. the back axle. Right. So we like this seating position, also including child tethers. So well. these seats, the leather here matches the the seats up front, right? It is. Yes. Okay. We actually cover the. Um, uh, the, the RAM portion of what they provide and then we buy this. Oh, okay. And the same manufacturer who makes this makes those covers. Yeah. So let's just check out the storage up here. I know you've got the pizza oven here and then you've got That's these great. two cabinets. I love it. Yeah. Definitely <laughs> pizza oven. I mean, it can fit a lot of stuff up yeah. there. And yeah. then, so a little different for us is um, there's a company called Genesis. Okay. We're buying all the pieces of the cabinets from them. Oh, it okay. It helped relieve a lot of our routers that we, that oh, we okay. had going on at Airstream. I see. Um, Can we get that one? Open. So we abs uh -huh. we actually worked with them. They've done their parent company has done some work with uh, some European manufacturers, and one of mm -hmm. them um, I don't know if you ever seen the Alpha Van over there. Uh, I know a lot what of you're press, talking about. Yeah, but they do a lot of those cabinets mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. So we were able to bring in a lot of their yeah um, expertise. Those look great. Yeah, and you notice there's two steel yeah. brackets as opposed to one right. plastic hinge. Um, so it's still got that Airstream DNA, and this is. First for us, actually on the interstates they don't, but these all lock. Oh, so okay. all of these doors lock, including the ones on the gallery. Oh, cool. So you'll notice the locking mechanism mm -hmm. here that'll pop out behind here once it yeah goes in. So it keeps your stuff in there. That's a it's a nice look. You know, there's uh, there's folks who want to get away from wood, but I like the way you guys have blended all the different materials in here. So you've got some wood, but you know you've got some other. I don't know what, what what do we call these countertops? Yeah, just a little bit more material. flat colors. Yeah. Um, blending in with wood, it, it does tend to get a little too grainy if you, right. if you put too much wood. No, but there. this is nice. It's just yeah. you know just enough. So um, I think we're looking at these. This, what are these screens here? Is this yeah, what we were talking about? So this about? is here, the screen know. here that I was mentioning. Okay. Um, that'll run the entire coach. Mm -hmm. So obviously all of the lights on and off, um, and then you can actually check the status of your. Uh, battery um, you have the generator settings and we were actually mm -hmm. able to integrate with um, uh, with Onan mm -hmm. so on the generator you can now do uh, automatic gen start on this oh, okay so on this little coach just like yeah. those big diesel motorhomes you can actually set it to the uh, to a voltage or mm -hmm. you can set it to a temperature so if you have a pet and It'll you go off. away from the unit, but when you leave, it's cool, and then by the time you get back, it's warmer. Mm -hmm. but it'll actually sense the temperature, and it'll turn on the generator, which will then, of course, turn on the AC. Yeah. So we've integrated yeah. I all like in Firefly within. does some really intuitive interfaces as well. Yeah, and it's yeah. it's been very helpful to, to be able to connect. You so can just... Can, oh, it yeah. looks like you can control the, the vent there. Is that this vent or the bath vent? I see it says bath, but I don't know. That vent right there. Yeah. Oh, nice. Open it right up. Right. Yeah. Someone goes in that bathroom and doesn't put on that thing. That's right. You put it on yourself. <laughs> no, that's cool. The uh, so on here, if you go to mobile app, mm -hmm. you basically hit the QR code, put in your ID, yeah. and then it sends out a local signal here mm -hmm. that your phone can work. Yeah. So that's what I was referring to yeah, earlier. Yeah. It's, it's uh, you know, you can't go too far, but I notice sometimes you can reach it from like in the house if you're close enough or through the window or something. So yeah, and you know, again, it's all those switches. If you, you And I understand why OEMs are putting it, but number mm -hmm. one, it's a lot of labor to run all this wire. Mm -hmm. There's a smarter way, mm -hmm. and we think. And then number two, um, it's just nice. Everybody's always got a phone on them. So if yeah. you're around the unit, you probably got a phone in yeah. your pocket and you can run this entire Yeah, coach. I think I realize why people do the switches because maybe they're more reliable. But um, I think these interfaces just makes it easier for you to understand everything that's going on. And yeah, a lot of times I'll sit down, all the lights are on. I can just take out my phone, <laughs> Boom, shut them off. Right off. Don't have to take off my seatbelt and come so back there's out again. One um, appliance that we did not put on it, and okay. that's the Timberline heating system. Mm -hmm. um, we weren't quite ready to to uh, interface with our main screen. Okay. And actually, if we did do it, there were a few of the options that would be lost in okay. translation. Okay. And it's a pretty big, because it's running your furnace, your water heater, 
Um, it's got different zones. So a lot of those things that we th we think customers would, after we okay. reviewed what options you would get on the screen versus not, we okay. kept the screen. So everything that warms up is going through that, right? Ex exactly. Okay. Anything from the water heater and the furnace. And mm -hmm. uh, it's quite, it's a great system and it runs right off your own of gasoline. So it's mm -hmm. just, it's You guys have had a good experience with Timberline. I've seen them. I've seen a lot yeah, of Yeah, we have. They've, they're into um, a lot of over road trucks. Mm -hmm. And they, so they've had a lot of experience mm -hmm. in mobile solutions. Mm -hmm. um, and we know the guys there because they also rep other other products in the okay. industry. So we have a good relationship with them. Very cool. So this this fan, I'm assuming, it's on its own remote, or is it like manual, or how does this one work? Yeah, this is just on its own. Okay. Just hit that. So this is for the up front here. Yeah. Did you guys do anything uh, forward here in the you know in the, the only, driver's area? The only change we had are the cover covered the seats. We've largely okay. left that alone. There is some interactions with the mm -hmm. chassis battery, of course, but yeah. um, we really wanted to lose the complexity mm -hmm. between the chassis and the house. Yeah. And I'm a little inside baseball here, but mm -hmm. as a manufacturer and as a dealer, mm -hmm. the dealer sometimes can get frustrated because you start to have to service up inside the coach yeah. to try to get to some of those connections. <laughs> right. And, um, yep. Just trying to simplify it. Yeah. I've seen that. So everything here, pretty much except for the seats you said. I like the fact, I don't know, I think this table moves back, right? So it does. You, it, has you, a, it has a, it has yeah. on that rail you can move yeah, it. Yeah, so you can actually move this table back and probably get this seat back a little further if you wanted to. You could. Which helps, because sometimes uh, folks put cabinets here mm -hmm. and then you're, you know, you can't really go back that much further. Yeah. yeah. So for like a bigger guy like me, you know, the uh, the amount of room that you have I think becomes uh the 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 key here but all of this stuff is really easy to use i've noticed in the pro master yeah, really the easy car play and i don't know if you've seen the battery uh, yeah this is your phone charger yeah. i know it's, it's not on it's but you could just put your phone there yep, you put uh your phone right i've there. noticed even in a case it's not going to do it now because we're not on but even in a case it it's it's, it's pretty robust it really is. Yeah, and, and very all, easy to connect to. Yeah, and it's all wireless, so you don't have all the wires. Yeah. So it's super easy. You throw your phone in there, yeah. you're hooked up to CarPlay, yeah. and you take off. I, Lots of USB, USB-C, regular USB, 12 volt. I like all the shelving and stuff like that that uh, ProMaster puts it's, into it. The size so. of the screen is nice. Yeah. It's got the rear camera in the rear Built video. into this, yeah. So. Uh, mirror, so it's natural. Um, so you guys have the okay. This probably came with uh, with the RAM, right? Yeah. So you can do the uh, SOS and uh, mm -hmm. those kinds of functions here. Probably that's something you sign up for. I believe so. Okay. But I, I don't know for sure. Yeah. Very nice. All right. I like this, and I like. The, did you when you do these seats? Do you put any kind of cushioning in here, or? Uh, we use what RAM has. Okay. Yeah. Which okay. they've got quite a bit. Yeah. And actually, the guy that um, runs our operations used to run a whole automotive seat area. So we've oh, okay. got some real expertise. These seats feel good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought they came out nice and yeah. looks so we. When you guys do the pop top option, which we'll take a look at it, do you lose this? Um, is this aluminum up here on yeah. the ceiling? Or? No, just this. It's just a bigger hole. Instead of this okay. fan, it'll be a bigger hole. Oh, okay. So but you, you still access. get the ceiling going you back. You do. Yeah, you okay. still get the ceiling all the way back. Yeah. And you know, if you look at a lot of manufacturers, we, we talked mm -hmm. about this internally. Did we do something yeah. different here? Because this is pretty expensive yeah. and riveting it in. But the reality is the the other manufacturers use these fabrics. They just, mm -hmm. they hold odors. Mm -hmm. They fall off the ceiling. You can yeah. damage them pretty easily. Yeah. And we just thought, let's just let's keep you it. You know what I really love about this? So um, if you get the right, uh, there's a company that I found called uh, Sea Sucker. And they have vacuum suction mounts. Mm. And you can get a lot of stuff. They're actually getting oh, into wow. doing stuff for RVs, you know, Class Bs, overlanding. Sure. So you can get a lot of different things, and you can actually suction stuff oh, wow. up there and get, you know, yeah. get some hooks up there, yeah. do some more storage. So I really like that you guys do that because, as you said, everyone's putting cloth or some kind of rubber there that you really cannot suction to. No, so. you can't. Yeah, and so that's really nice and probably just, easy to clean. <laughs> and they just don't age well. I yeah. mean. This is gonna look. I mean, we're putting. We've been putting this on airstreams for 90 years. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. Well, and that's the other thing, right? It, it like, you know, it's airstream. That's right. You know it when you see that. It's a that. huge yeah. part of our DNA. Yeah, I really sure. like it. It might be a small thing to to folks out there, but I like that. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, so let's uh, so let's, let's look at the gallery here. Yeah, let's look at yeah. let's look at this area because we spent a lot of time on it. One of the things that again that our design team 
really wanted to avoid are the hodgepodge of drawers you see in this category. Mm -hmm. We wanted something really balanced, thoughtful, mm -hmm. intentional. So if you, if you look at, even though this drawer might be this long, the drawer face is longer because a lot of RV manufacturers would just cut it off and it would just, it's just not very appealing. Yeah, um, it doesn't look as designed. Yeah, it's got the soft close. And the uh, lock, so that, that locks, everywhere you see that, it locks it, right? That's right. Nice. And then we have the cooktop here with a power tower here oh, that nice. you can plug it into. Okay. Um, so that way, if you're not cooking, you don't you don't okay. need to use it. That piece of paper right there, is that, um, is that QR code for if folks want to get more info? Yeah, you that's can, right. You can grab that Lola. Yeah. We'll, we'll roll that in. It'll take you right to our website. Yep. And then on the bottom, we connected it for our trash can. Have the integrated trash can, an area for the trash bags. Again, just very thoughtful uh, elements to it. And then some more storage over here. So for a little unit, and, and again, we, we take the time to actually make these an odd shape, but we're gonna utilize every bit of storage. Obviously we have to leave this out because you have the plumbing that we're building around. Nice big drawer here. Yeah. Yeah, it does really make a, a difference here when you look at it. It's, I mean, it is a ton of storage yeah. for, our, for a small yeah. uh, van. And then we, there were dead space here. So. Yeah, these pockets are awesome. I said, hey, <laughs> like built-ins, you know, in, in yeah. your, you know, if you got a nice home, like a model. Yeah. Your home and, looks like a model home. Well, that <laughs> and, I mean, there's always something you need a space yeah. for. So, um, what I also like too are these, um, these are... Oh, you can angle down, the, those out. Oh, can that's cool. Them. So if you're working in a certain area, yeah. we thought that was a cool. So that's feature. all. Is that um, all the under cabinet lights? Do yes. That same thing. Oh, okay. Yep. Very nice. And then, uh, what we also like is uh, the speaker. You know, we, we we spend all this time on speaker systems that mm -hmm. change constantly, and they're all wired through the cabinets. Yeah. And these things sound fantastic. Yeah. So let's just have this on a mount. Yeah. This thing pops right off. It's locked here for the yeah. show, and you just can take Bluetooth. it on. Yeah. yeah, you take it on your adventure. Come back in. Yeah. I've seen some other manufacturers do it. We thought that's a great idea. Yeah, why get super complicated? Yeah, yeah and that's I mean, awesome. It just adds mm -hmm. a lot more complexity. Yeah, of course. Everybody well, that's great. Data. And if you destroy it, you just get another one. It's JBL, right? Exactly. Yeah, it's pretty. Good luck destroying pretty it. Pretty easy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But and it's pretty easy to find if you do. Yeah. Uh, some storage above the microwave here. Um, I've noticed you've done this differently here. So this is almost like an, is this the refrigerator? This is. Integrated cabinet. For With the, the integrated wow. uh, cabinet. And this is a um, Vitro Frigro. I think okay. I'm saying that right. So it's a new brand. But it's it seems all like a lot more room in there. It does. It's, okay. And the other thing, we, we typically use stainless steel or mm -hmm. black, but we did the white because this is a dry erase. Yeah. So oh. you want to write yourself a note. Oh, nice. If you need to do this. Yeah. You can do it. It's pretty simple. Very clever. And then, um, and so what's down there? Again, some oh, doggy balls spot for your dogs. <laughs> and if you don't have a dog, no worry, you can just pop that out and use it as a drawer. Absolutely. But that's you nice. know, there's never a good spot to put your dog balls. No, no, that's very cool. So, this microwave you have here, what does this microwave do? It's not a convection, it's your standard microwave. Okay. But it is a way to um, to quickly cook some, some items off the oh, generator okay. if you need it. And then, do we, I think we went into that cabinet, right? Uh, this yeah, this, this is, uh, yeah. Yep, some more storage. Yeah. Um, the if you come up back over here, you do have a nice uh, pantry as well with yeah. adjustable shelves, so you can adjust it exactly the way you want it. And um, that's a nice use of space. Is this also a cabinet? So on the bottom, um, mm -hmm. this is actually a good demo here. In this mm -hmm. big spot. Oh. Oh, is that a step? It's a step to get up in the oh. bed. Oh, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, Lola, you're gonna need that. <laughs> I'll need it too. <laughs> and then, um, when it's not a step, cool. you can. Oh, you can still put some stuff yeah, in there. You can still store some. That's great. We don't want to have any dead space here. Yeah, that's very clever. Yeah, this whole cabinet, uh, we're because I know. You know, it's a little bit of moving around room in here, but I like these hooks that you guys have built in. You know, we, we, we didn't have a place for towel hooks. Mm -hmm. We've got to have the towel hooks, but yeah. when they're not a towel hook, you don't want them in your face. So right. we thought this was a nice uh, yeah. compromise for sure. Yeah. Now the other thing too, the um, the fan for the shower, actually you'll notice it, Lola, it's right here. It actually goes out the sidewall. And the reason we did that 
because we're not in a pop top, but we right. did want to have two whole prints, one up okay. the ceiling and one out the side. So we just oh. did them both out the side. Oh, so they're both. That way, when we put the pop top on, there's not as much change. Oh, behind I see. The seat. Okay. I it, didn't even notice those on the outside. Yeah. So it's, it's like smaller. It kind of comes there. right up the top there. Oh, okay. But um, nice. it kind of comes out the side here. Oh, I'm like, I'm like 5'11", so it's, it's right at my height, but you can sit down in here. Oh, there's a sink. Look at that. You can actually, you know, Justin, there's a lot of people, I found this out in the in the van world, people do not want to brush their teeth no. in that sink. No. Very bad form. So this is great. You guys seem to have uh, have that figured. And they, it's a good height. They like to wash their hands too before leaving the... Yeah, before you leave the bathroom, bathroom. exactly. And then there's a toilet here. So uh, this was not cassette, right? That's what you were saying? That's correct, yeah. So this is an actual... A uh, plumbed bathroom here, right. and you could obviously sit down. That's probably what I would do, so I can get some headroom. Yeah, some things. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Boom. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> can you guys even hear me? We can hear you loud and clear. Oh, there's a lot of room in here. <laughs> wow. It's a lot of room. When it's yeah, it's you know the the contour. I don't know if that makes any sense, Justin, but the contour is great. There's actually room in there once you sit down for like a bigger guy, yeah, like me. That's cool. Try to. Keep away from all the little yeah. curtains that get stuck to you and everything. Yeah, and so this is all molded out. It is. Yeah. It's in it's in a few different pieces mm -hmm. to try to maximize the space that we can. Yeah. Sometimes we'll use a full one piece molded mm -hmm. shower uh, enclosure, but this allowed us to do some things we couldn't have done before. Yeah. This is really cool. All right, so I'm gonna can I go up here on this bed? Yeah, sure. Okay, here I'm gonna move back here. Uh, I like how you guys have gotten a lot of stuff into this. So, uh, how big is the bed here? It's a, it's just about a double. About a double. Um, okay. And then notice uh, to your left, there's mm -hmm. a, a, tr a phone charger. Oh, there's, yeah, there is. <laughs> so there's a phone charger right here. Here, I'll take this. Very nice. That's exactly where it needs to be. Yeah, and you can <laughs> actually night. do two phones there. One oh. you can plug into it and then there's like a little USB. Oh, okay, yeah. So you can like get your phone in here. Oh, cool. That's now, cool. We do have some redundancy for the switches. So you notice mm -hmm. on Lola's left there's a switch pad. Oh, yeah. And okay. And these are all RF switches. We stopped all the hardwiring. So you can oh. actually move that panel in a different place if you wanted to. Oh, so this is like a little remote. Yeah. Yeah, there's lots of storage in here too. Look at that tons of storage we probably should go look at this from the back that way we can all get in there but there's storage all through here yeah lots of storage. yeah and then obviously there's so you get to have this here and then you still have all the storage underneath yeah, here the idea yeah. was being able to sleep in bed while still keeping some gear yeah sometimes yeah. it's one or the other so then yeah. people have to put gear up here or they got to yeah. put it outside yeah we wanted you to have both you guys have, you know, this is, I see a lot of 144s do some stuff like this, but I think you guys have put this together really well inside Thank of a you. ProMaster. I appreciate that. Yeah. I've never seen this much stuff laid out like this in a ProMaster, to yeah. be honest with you. Yeah. Really nice. Where do you want me to go, Lola? The AC. Oh, the AC. So what kind of AC are you guys it's using? It's the Coleman. Uh, okay. Coleman AC. So it's a, it's one of the quieter ones that we've been able to find, which mm -hmm. is nice. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we put it all the way in the back there too, so it's mm -hmm. ready to receive the pop top if we were, oh, if we were oh. to add that option. That oh, way we don't right. have two different positions for, yeah. the, for the AC. So if you're going with the pop top option, it's easy to do. Can I lift this up? Does this yeah, go straight up? It does. It's a, it takes a little bit of origami there, but oh, okay. you can see where Oh, it I see. It's multiple pieces. Yep, and then it will fold. Oh, I see. It folds like that. And then I'm guessing this folds. Or how does this? Yeah, this will fold up here. Okay. Oh, I see. It folds under. Yep. Oh. And then you have to. It, we'll have to actually put that mattress on this side, but just see oh, okay. the spot where you can. Oh, so it folds in. under and goes under there. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Okay. So yeah, so you could use this space and stand straight up here. Exactly. And maybe have like an office thing going on here and then put it back to the bed. Okay, very nice. Yeah, we'll take a look at the. Uh, at the pop top version, so I can ask you some questions about that. You want to go over to the pop top, Lola? Let's do it. Okay. Pop top. Yes, pop top. Right. So, a couple things. The, uh, what you call it, the pizza oven? Yes. <laughs> it can hold the ladder. I, I totally stole the pizza oven. But it's, yeah, it just sticks in my I like it though. Yeah. And then the ladder will hook right here. 
Mm -hmm. um, a couple things on this. If, keep an eye out if you're looking at a lot, a lot of B-bands. Look at the trim around the pop mm -hmm. top. We spent a lot of time on mm -hmm. that. So trying to give our team some cred there. Yeah. So, so exactly nice what do you guys do here? Because I think a lot of people, I think you brought up a good point. A lot of people worry about when you cut this hole mm -hmm. in a pop top about the integrity. So what's Airstream doing? In regards yeah, to that. so this is actually in between the ribbing system and, and ramps. So you're not taking okay. out a lot of integrity. Okay. Um, the supplier, which is these are made in Italy. Mm -hmm. um, it's a Lippert owned company. Okay. But um, it's called a Vela. Mm -hmm. They um, they do all the our crash testing and everything else. Of course, okay. this pop top has been used for years in Europe, mm -hmm. and it was. Um, somebody that we talked to at, at Heimer that mm -hmm. they use as well. Yeah. So we cut out this portion of it and then the whole thing gets down. It's largely, you know, the automotive glues on these things are insane, mm -hmm. but they're very time sensitive. Mm -hmm. um, we had them come in. We, we've got equipment now that'll suction cup the whole pop oh, okay. top properly. Yeah prepare the surfaces, yeah. get the automotive glue. Because it sets up once you get it going, it sets it's up really set fast. Up pretty yeah. quick. So this probably adds some rigidity, right, to, you know to what? the I, roof. I think there's a case that could be made on yeah. that for sure. Mm -hmm. And um, But it's, uh, it's, it's a great process and then we water test them. So not a lot of manufacturers mm -hmm. actually, we have a water booth, we can spray mm -hmm. these things and make sure that they're not leaking and, okay. and whatnot. So that is a process that, that we And do. does it affect in, in your in you guys' opinion like the aerodynamics or anything? That's what I always worried about with yeah. the pop top. Uh, the practicality of it, I noticed Lola and I uh, recently got a chance to spend some like I think we spent about a week in a pop top. It was awesome. Because nice. you could just use it for so much stuff and it's a good you know, it's almost like a tree house or something. It is. Yeah. But you know, I think the thing that keeps a lot of people from the pop top is, hey, does that mess up my aerodynamics? Does it look like uh, something's up there? You know, take so, away from the stealthiness. What we did um, in Ohio, really close to us is Honda, mm -hmm. and there's a huge test track, mm -hmm. and you can simulate over the course of. They've got it down to a science. You mm -hmm. can run the thing for 15,000 miles to simulate okay. 100,000 miles oh, wow. with all the bumps. Okay. So we put a pop top on and mm -hmm. just beat the heck out of the prototype mm -hmm. to see. Mm -hmm. It performed really, really well. Okay. I, I think there's probably a case to be made that your fuel economy would go mm -hmm. down slightly, mm -hmm. but I, I think it's marginally yeah. at best. Yeah. So I don't, I, it doesn't concern me all that much. Okay. Um, and I and I will say that, you know, it's an expensive option, mm -hmm. but it does give you a lot of flexibility, like you said. Mm -hmm. And um, one thing that we've done to our pop top is we actually added a vent to the top of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so there you go. One of the complaints we had from some of uh, the consumers out there having it gets a little hot up there in the summer because mm -hmm. heat rises. Yeah. But with that, you're kind of pulling some air up from the air conditioning, mm -hmm. or you're just getting a nice cross breeze when you open up the. Uh, yeah. The well, this is the switch for the light. That's and nice. Then you have some USB chargers because you know kids. Oh, that's cool. Devices. Yeah. When you're up there, it's good to be able to plug in. Yeah. And then yeah. There's also a reading lamp that comes oh, cool. up. Oh, that's cool. Um, all of these um, are openings in the canvas. Yeah. So you can get some cross ventilation. Now, would there be any plug-in power up here? So, for example, if I wanted to sleep up in the pop top with my. Uh, with my CPAP machine, my sleep machine, would I be able to do that? I just have to run. Do I have there's to run not, extension? There's okay. not. There's just USB. Ports. Just the USB. Okay. And they're okay. also in the lights, actually. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's some. Yeah. Yeah. And then the hooks here is where the ladder. Comes so when that, so when this is down, obviously you can still use that vent fan. Yeah. Which yes. Which is cool. Absolutely. Okay. And then this is all manual, right? We just we would pull it down. Yeah. And, and those then straps are there to help you yeah. pull it on both sides. Yeah. And what kind of foam do you have here in the bed? You know, this comes with the, um, the pop top maker, but it's super comfortable. Mm -hmm. And there's actually slats underneath. Oh, there's slats underneath? Oh, great. So you so it's breathing under there over time. That's yeah. good. Yeah. It gives you a lot more comfort. Yeah. This is yeah. This is really cool. So uh, I love that you don't lose the the vent. I thought you would lose the vent from the non pop top. Yeah. Yeah. It's a it's a little higher up but you still got it yeah so on average what is someone looking at if they want to get the pop top upgrade 
it's about ten thousand dollars. Okay. I think I think it's worth it. Over. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do too. Yeah. I, I was wondering at the beginning, but it, like like when you had it, when you have it, you start to see the other uses. Yeah, you use it. You know, we used it. We, we were staying out on the beach. <laughs> I almost fell asleep up there. <laughs> you know, and uh, nice. I, you know that's why I was asking you about the sleep machine. I would just run a cable or something. I'm sure there's uh, points here you could plug there into is, one down and here. run an extension up there. But uh, yeah, we used it for sunrises, sunsets, things like that. And then I think you were saying, I've heard other people say it, that if you have the pop top, you can have this all set up with as your office or whatever, and instead of taking it down, just go up there and go yeah, sleep. Yeah, yeah, we had a customer say that um, he was traveling by himself, but he goes, I'm gonna sleep up there and then I'll just mm -hmm. dedicate that to my workshop. So yeah. It starts yeah. to, you know, present some yeah. other opportunities yeah. you might not have thought you I think have. so too, especially in a in a smaller format like the ProMaster here, you get that room. So, yeah. The interior color like design. You said there were two colors. Yeah, the colors are really just the uh, the fabrics. So yeah, just I think they the call this. Um, oh, it's well, it's basically gray and then blue. Okay. And yeah. then the graphite exterior. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is great. You want to wrap this up outside? Yeah. Awesome. All right, Justin, I think the range line has a lot of cool stuff packed into it in the layout, you know, especially with the pop top, you're really getting a, a lot of extra for that. So I'm really impressed by what you guys did here. I appreciate you guys stopping by. We, we think so too. I've always mm -hmm. said this, this segment in general is like the Swiss Army knives of RVs. Yeah. Because we're packing so much into yeah. a small space. Yeah. But when you think about it, you have lithium, you have a single fuel source, which mm -hmm. for years could only be had on big class A's. Yeah. You have it in this small package where you have mm -hmm. automatic automatic generator starters mm -hmm. where it's tied to whether it's the temperature or, or voltage yeah I mean, you can do a lot where 10 years ago even five years ago you could only get that in a big class right a. yeah everything's shrinking down but yet it's space. small enough this could be yeah. your daily driver that huge storage spot absolutely. in the back could be a great yeah. costco run yeah or absolutely. throw the kids in the and back. if you want to get into an airstream this is a very affordable way to get into a complete package right. you know class b vans i think are just of all the segments, the uh, Class B segment is still going up. So it is. And one awesome. thing I'd like to, of course, I'm VP of sales at Airstream, so right. I'm really proud of our dealer body. We've got exclusive Airstream stores. They sell nothing but Airstream. Right. Every day they get up, and that's all they sell in service. Yeah. So they get a lot better at doing it. Yeah. Because they're not having to service all these different manufacturers on one lot. Right. So now this gives you access to that experience. Yeah. Where you can go to a store that does nothing but Airstream. They're going to yeah. know you, yeah. your unit inside and out. They're going to be able to help you. Right. You're going to get a much better experience yeah. along the Once way. Once they pull you in, you'll never get it. That's out. right. So I had I've to give a plug. friends that have Airstreams. <laughs> I got to give a plug to that experience yeah. because, right. as you know, as an RVer, mm -hmm. you got to get back to a dealer. Sometimes right. it can be frustrating if you can't yeah. get in for service or they don't know yeah. the, your product that you're yeah. they're servicing. Yeah. So um, uh, this gives you access to that. Yeah, I see a lot of value in this, honestly. When, yeah. when I look, I look at a lot of vans. <laughs> You know, I really see a lot of value that comes along with that Airstream name, all the design and materials you guys put into it. So I really do appreciate you giving us this like detailed view yeah. of it. No, I, I appreciate you stopping by. And in addition to that, we actually have factory service. So we're yeah. one of the few manufacturers, you can bring it up, you can get winterized, you can get things oh, okay. fixed, cool. warranty work. Where is that? So it's up in Ohio, Western oh, Ohio, about okay. an hour north of Dayton. Yeah, we have to get into the factory, we, Justin. Yes, we'll do that. We yes. talked about that last yes, year. Yes, we have to do it. We gotta get you and we'll up there. Absolutely, we'll thanks so much, thanks, I really Hank. appreciate it's it. to see you. Same here. I hope you guys are enjoying our coverage here of the 2023 Florida RV Super Show. In Tampa, Lola's giving me the thumbs up. I, I got it so wrong last year. <laughs> so let us know of other things that you want to see. Big thanks to Airstream. And uh, if folks want to find out more about Airstream, where do they go, Justin? Airstream.com. There you go. All. Easy to do. Justin's got a lot of good videos. And Airstream in general, you guys are doing a pretty good job with that. Thank all right. You. We're out of here. We'll see you. Peace.